Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, happy new year to everybody. Uh, this is the first day, official day of 2022, thank God for uh, letting us have a new year and keeping us here, those who are here, uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, I hope your new year goes better than last year. We'll talk about the new year a little bit uh, after a while, uh, but in this episode I want to do a Guerlain fragrance, which is uh, I believe now being discontinued or getting really rare to find, it's a flanker or a uh, Part of the line of a very prestigious line of Guerlain Low Medial. So this is called Low Medial Sport or Spart. I, I, the French say differently. So this is a uh, house that I think is a French house. Okay, uh, Guerlain is Thierry Wasser, who's the creator of this perfume. I reviewed it before, but not quite from a full bottle. So I want to do a full bottle presentation today. Uh, I got it yesterday. It was my last, one of the last buys of 2021. I also got. Maybe I'll do a re-review, retake on this one. Uh, Nuit Dice, uh, Pulse of the Night of Isi Miyake. This is now discontinued. I got these two for the very last day. Uh, you know, every year I do this. I go out and then, you know, you have to, you know, if you love something, you know, you go and stick to it. You know, I love perfumes. So I stick to fragrances. So I got these two. So let's review uh, the sport version. So basically, I want to do a talk. I have done Gale and House Talk uh, fragrances, but not quite the ideal line, I believe. I have six of them now and there's one more left. That is the Intense. And Intense is so expensive now, discontinued. I may buy the new version because the older version, uh, the seller's asking for around $100, which is a bit too high for my liking. This fragrance used to go for 45, 55 bucks once. Unbelievable, right? When it's available, no one bought it. Who knew? Um, just a little bit talk on the whole line. Low Medial, whole line is fantastic. You know, yeah, just now I put Scent of the Morning as uh, that one, Ideal Sport. Uh, my good friend Brad Stocks asked me if he should look at it. I would say, I said, look at the whole line because the whole line is really beautiful. Some lines are really worthy of collecting, you know, like Dior Homme line, Chanel, Allure line, now Givenchy's Gentleman line. I would say many of the lines are really, really worthy. This is the same case. And now as they're being discontinued, uh, it would be a shame because I love the original Ideal, Ideal, EDP, uh, the Cologne, which I have now back a bottle, thankfully, but very rare, uh, cool. And then I have, uh, what else I have? The extreme, so the intense one, it's uh, in my, under my radar. If I get that, I'll do a line talk. So here's the packaging. Uh, I really wanted it for a very long time. Usually it used to go for 55 to 65 bucks in Bangladesh. Now I paid 80, 85 bucks, that kind of price range, okay? Uh, for love. I could have got it maybe a little bit cheaper, but no seller responded. So, you know, uh, this is how the packaging looks. Really nice, neat. It looks blue in the middle, gives you idea what's gonna be, and then it says sport in red. So it's supposed to be a sporty fragrance. At the back, you get that barcode. It says Gelan uh, up there, the code. Bottom of says nothing really fancy, but it looks standard. I love Gelan presentation. They are neat, and on most part, they are affordable. But this fragrance cost me money because it's now a little bit rare. So this is how the bottle looks. Uh, this is fantastic. Anything blue is fantastic because I live in a hot and humid country. Uh, geographic location wise we appreciate blue color it cools you down already <laughs> so this is winter going on uh, it will continue for let's say uh, winter will go on for January mid January after that it will get start to get a little bit warm February it will get almost summer is coming uh, a little bit mild breeze but March onwards this is the kind of fragrances we would look for to wear so now fantastic bottle simplistic bottle if you haven't seen one it, this is how that looks uh, back you can see this is a 2020 batch if I'm not mistaken okay so last year like 2020 it was released uh, I think the last batch or something like it that's how the cap looks really fantastic sometimes reminds me a little bit of uh, Versace Eros bottle shape or Bleu de Chanel bottle shape bottle shape uh, the blue juice is just mesmerizing and the cap is blue so this one is not a magnetic top this one uh, clicks onto place this one has um, detailing on the sprayer uh, this is my scent of the morning, by the way, and I'll show you. Clicks on to place, you can pick it up. I don't know if there's multiple bottle sizes, but I got the 100 ml only in Bangladesh. So sprayer works really fine. Okay, really, really good sprayer. Okay, very good fragrance to start in the start the day in the morning. So let me have some tea and then talk about this. This is basically. Uh, milk tea uh, ready to just you can put the sachet and then you know you just add some honey or sugar then you can have it so now the reason of having tea is that voice is coming out better than 
and also I can smell fragrance if you have tea or coffee opens up your uh, senses or something like that okay so this fragrance uh, I always said I liked it and our nature is usually when fragrance is available we do not usually buy it we wait for the fragrance to go discontinued we keep having thoughts you know same thing happened with the low medial uh, cologne the white bottle I have two bottles of it now but when it was available I, I did not buy it that much you know I felt like yeah, I bought it I sold it off this one I had a sample uh, from my friend and I reviewed it I said I liked it and it's a nice little different kind of fragrance so we will give you a full picture today when I smell it it's fresh you know uh, let me give you the good sides some criticisms or some uh, people who may or may not want to buy it I'll give reasons for both okay this fragrance the bottle is beautiful juice color is beautiful the type is aquatic but uh, I would say aquatic creative okay why do I say it because this is not just a typical aquatic like 10 other aquatics okay out there uh, some people may disagree with me but I think this is a fantastic if this perfume let me give you a perspective if this was a Dior release like a Dior Homme Sport and this one this is what they released uh, this fragrance would be top seller in the world write it down it would be top seller in the world uh, just now because it's Guerlain yeah it's a little bit underrated and uh, I would say it's creative in a way that it's not just a blue fragrance it's not another just another blue fragrance this one has some other body to it and it's just so classy and uh, you if you can get this within that $70 under you should take a look at this this perfume is just beautiful it's mesmerizing it has kind of like a Neroli almond uh, blue watery notes and I feel uh, some other notes but it's a very simple uh, soothing just like the cologne and cool I think they discontinued cologne to make this and now this is discontinued as well I think so overall uh, I would say that Neroli introduction the freshness water of it uh, it makes the fragrance blue it gives the watery blue vibe uh, definitely you can pick up but it's not a shower gel vibe it's a natural uh, you can say almost the point of if Prada made a blue fragrance this could be the class of Prada but without the soapy vibe uh, it's not very sharp it's very smooth and it's like a you're wearing like a second skin so if you do not like piercing or sharp uh, like those soapy fragrance you're gonna appreciate it it's kind of like a Prada ish vibe okay uh, the thing is it wears mild it wears gentle so people who are looking for something like Azaro Chrome Legend or Chrome or Nautica's Voyage which is very sharp and strong be small projection be small longevity this is not for you one criticism second criticism the price are going a little bit high do not do $80 like me I'm a collector that's why I got it uh, third criticism is that who are looking for longevity bees this is not a beast okay it does hang on like cologne and cool uh, does four hours you can get this in four hours but first initial uh, 45 minutes is where the projection is really beautiful that blue watery vibe so the best thing about this fragrance is that dry down is very classy Think of Dior Homme Sport, the older version. It was not just a lemon uh, tree. The dry down was pretty much like a poetic. It was like poetry. It was classy. Uh, something like uh, Dior Homme O. It's not just a fresh perfume. It has something else to offer. This perfume offers a lot. This perfume can be worn in workplace. It's with the suit. If you wear like a, something blue, like a ties blue or the blue stripes, or uh, you are traveling. If people ask me what should, fragrance should I look at, when I travel by the plane or airport, no one's gonna get offended. This is one fantastic fragrance. Uh, this perfume, I feel, even though the name is sport, it's it can be a little bit sporty, but it's a bit too classy for sport. You know, like if you're wearing this in the sport, all may more power to it. But I would rather preserve this for a formal dress up. It's a fresh summer or spring kind of wearing, and women appreciate this kind of fragrance clean and fresh trust me I wore a lot of fragrances like dark sweet tobacco ashy just to show off like black orchid uh, or interlude no women ever complimented me <laughs> I got compliments on sweet perfumes and fresh women are sucker for like fresh and sweet perfumes okay like I wear VPH Versace Purum I get compliments like what are you wearing Chanel Allium, Allium Sport Edition Blanche you know people ask me like what are you wearing that smells so fresh I want to buy it like for my husband or boyfriend something like it this fragrance is then the same class as Versace Purum there's a little bit of Versace Purum in this like in the soul you can definitely smell those like beautiful literally beautiful beautiful it's just I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this is 10 for the smell so underrated in a way that sport name is kind of confusing they 
label it wrong. Could have been low medial uh, aqua or low medial blue or low medial ocean. That would give like a better uh, uh, image to the perfume. But overall, it doesn't matter what the name is. You know, it's the juice that is important inside. That nutty almond feel you get in the cologne. You get the kind of like a fresh citrusy uh, nuttiness. The cool, you get the kind of minty, nutty, uh, minty nuttiness. This one you get kind of like a blue nuttiness. So basically all three are fantastic. But if you're not like a collector, 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 you don't need all of them. If you have cologne, you don't need cool or this. If you have this, you see, you get the idea. So if you have one, you have like one of their fresher take on this line. And this line is just really brilliant. You know, I really love this line. When I got them at first, I did not think much of them. But slowly, I understood the, understood the concept of Giolan. So definitely try low medial sport. Uh, not a beast uh, prices if you do not find it for a good price range do not do it but it's a good solid fragrance it's not just another blue fragrance okay definitely a beautiful perfume and i think if you have even after like if you have 10 aquatics maybe you don't need this okay but if you have two aquatics this will definitely be guaranteed to be different from those and you keep wearing it when you reach this part of the bottle like this much juice gone down perhaps you'll understand the concept You'll be like, oh, this is not just a cheap uh, designer perfume that just is like soapy and clean and fresh. This offers class, exudes class, right? So I call it a Prada-ish kind of release because I love Prada's soapy, uh, fresh, luxurious vibe. This one gives me that. Very luxurious, very posh. Uh, just that one thing, if you're looking for a beast, this is not a beast, all right? This is a very gentle, gentle gentleman, okay? But overall, check this out. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because I love the fragrance so much. Even that performance category, it's not poor, okay? It's not poor. You get decent four hours, but despite that, I'll give it a 10, okay? This one, cologne, two are a tie. Cool is like nine. This is 10, okay? So try it out. Uh, if you find it somewhere, the new versions, old versions, whatever you can find, try it out. Beautiful bottle. And this is Guerlain Low Medial Sport Perfection 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. I'm very happy to have that full bottle. Time for our third video, then we'll do a New Year's episode. Take care.